Hi guys, in this video I want to show you how I draw an eye with colored pencils. I also wanted to say that my English isn't very good, but I'll try to explain it the best I can. I start by coloring in the pupil with a very dark brown. Then I go over it with a dark blue. These two colors will make it look very dark. I never use black in my drawings because this will make it look unrealistic. Then start coloring the iris. Start with the lighter colors and add the darker colors later on. The colors you use will depend on which eye color you are drawing. This eye has some yellow orange in it, some green, blue and grey. And for the darker details I use dark brown, dark grey and dark blue. Here I'm blending all the colors together with a white pencil and then I use a pencil eraser to create some depth. The eyeball is never white, so I'm shading this with a light grey. For the reflections in the eye, I use a white Uniposca pen. Reflections in the eye will also make it look more realistic. So, obviously I had to speed up this video, because otherwise this video will be more than 3 hours. I'm defining where the crease and the under eyelashes will be, and then I will color the skin tones. The first color I'm using for the skin is Cinnamon, from the Faber-Castell Polychromos pencils. After defining the top eyelashes, I'm adding a darker skin tone. This is Burnt Sienna from the Caran d'Ache Luminance pencils. Now for some more color, I'm adding Burnt Ochre 50% and blending it a bit with Burnt Sienna 10%. I'm coloring the first layer with Burnt Ochre 10%. Color with light pressure. I'm adding some burnt ochre 50% again and blending with some brown ochre 10%. Now some more color with raw umber and burnt sienna 50%. For all of these colors I'm using light pressure. I darken up the crease a bit and add some more dark brown. Now some raw umber 10% and some burnt sienna 10%. 
I'm going to give the skin some more color with another layer of burnt ochre 10%. This with medium pressure. Again, adding some burnt ochre 50%. Now blending it a bit with some burnt sienna 10% with medium pressure. Now I will blend the layers together with the color buff titanium. If you don't have this color you can also use white. I'm adding some dark brown again, and then I'm starting with the under eyelashes. I'm going over the lashes with some dark blue to darken them a bit. And then a layer of dark brown again. Now the same for the top eyelashes. I'm adding some more color to the skin with some raw umber 10% and some burnt sienna 10%. Now again some more color with burnt ochre 50% and blend it with raw umber 10%. I darken above the crease a bit with some sepia 10%. I also darken the eyelashes a bit with some dark brown. Now I'm adding some details with a white pencil. For the rest of the skin I'm doing the same. A light layer of burnt ochre 10%, a layer on top of burnt sienna 10% and then blend with buff titanium. Now for the eyebrow. I start coloring it in with burnt ochre 10% and then I go over it drawing light hair strokes using sepia 50%. For the darkest hair strokes I'm using sepia. This is a very dark brown. Now I fill in the eyebrow with a little bit of burnt sienna and some sepia 50% again. I blend a bit with some burnt ochre 10% to make it look more realistic. I add a bit more color to the skin with burnt sienna 10% just to create more depth. With my pencil eraser I erase a bit where it should be lighter and then I blend with a white pencil. I fill in the eyebrow some more with some sepia 50%. Then I draw some darker hair strokes with sepia. For some highlights in the eyebrow I use a white pencil again. And also my pencil eraser. I thought that the top iris and the eyeball should be a bit more darker. 
so I use a dark grey and light grey to darken it up a bit. I also darken some details. To make the reflection white again, I use my Uniposca. This is how I draw an eye with colored pencils. The first time using colored pencils, I had no clue how to layer and blend colors. So I hope this tutorial will help you. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.